<sighs> the other night, I saw John Wick 3 in theaters with one of my guardians. And I have to say, I came out of it um, a little bit confused, but overall generally satisfied. So take that uh, in mind while I continue talking about it. Now, I had not seen the first two John Wicks, so I went into this pretty, pretty blind. All I had known was that uh, esteemed actor Keanu Reeves was going to take the uh, titular role of John Wick. And I, I, I knew, I think I'd just seen some stuff about how he had a dog and that there was a lot of action. And I like action in my movies, and John Wick 3 does not disappoint. From start to finish, this is a real thr a thrill ride, and you will be on the edge of your seat for the majority of it. Um, as far as violence goes, I'm... I like action, um, but grotesque, realistic, violent depictions of of uh, things like that. I, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of. So there's a lot of guns. There's scenes with guns, obviously, that are that are fine. I don't mind that. But a lot of knife play scenes can be a bit much for a casual viewer like me. I was shocked that not as many people were gasping like myself or flinching as I looked through the, the audience. But, uh, yeah, there's a scene very early on dedicated to knives that I would just, I, I, either that would be an ideal time to use the restroom if you have to that early on, or just to close your eyes or do some, avert your attention to something else. I usually keep my phone on during movies and have the, the brightness lowered down all the way, so in case I get a, a text or something like that, I can respond to it if it's urgent. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't disrupt other people's experiences doing this, but this would be a good time maybe if you have Angry Birds or another delightful mobile application or social media to check out, I would do it during during that scene. Um, but aside from that, there's a lot of really creative moments. I think following that knife scene was there's a great scene where they go into a horse stable, John Wick and one of his adversaries, and they I, I'm hoping it was CGI'd, um, that no horses were actually smacked on the on the rear end to trigger some kind of violent reaction. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure they did something about that. I think it was Lionsgate. Hopefully they did something about that. But very creative. I've never seen that in a movie, as far as I can, I'm concerned, unless that's a feature of Western films. Uh, to that extent, I'm not familiar. I don't watch many westerns. Plus, not many are released nowadays. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of great stuff in John Wick. There's one, there's a few scenes that feel like they could have been cut out. There's a, a particular scene where John Wick goes to this big Italian a theater. There's a bunch of Italian people um, inside. I don't know what their names were, but uh, there's a prominent feature of like these, these ballet dancers, and they're doing their ballet acts. And I'm fine with ballet. Nothing about it. ballet offends me. But after after John Wick talks to the old woman inside. Uh, there's like a split scene of a woman of a of a ballet dancer ripping her her toenail off. I I don't understand the appeal of that. It was really upsetting. I again almost a almost a perfect movie if you could get rid of scenes like that that were just useless. Um, but I I really liked I really liked the whole the whole desert sequence. It was very cool. It reminded me a lot of Uncharted Three if you've ever played that. Uh, in fact, a lot of this a lot of this movie and reminded me of of a video game, particularly Uncharted 3, there's there's a great scene where John and his female counterpart and two two dogs are trying to escape some some area in Casablanca. And just the whole scene, um, the way it's filmed and acted out reminds me a lot of the scene in Uncharted 3, not to keep drawing comparisons between the two. Um, it's been a part and it's been a while since I played that game, but it reminded me a lot of the scene in Uncharted 3 uh, where you're first introduced to the the drug that makes you hallucinate, and you're, I, I don't know, it's just a lot of that because if there's so much gunplay, um, and the way it's shot, like a third, the the film is shot like a third person shooter almost in that part, and I could just imagine myself clicking away on my controllers playing uh, a John Wick game, were they ever to make one, I would gladly pick that up. Um, what else did I like about this movie? Uh, there was the ending. Um, was all right. Uh, obviously, they set it up for a sequel. Uh, I didn't expect that. I thought this would have been a trilogy. But now I'm kicking myself for not watching the first two. That's my homework tonight, is to at least start the first one. Hopefully, there's not as much knife play in the others. I'm actually not sure. I'm going to look that up beforehand before I, so I know what I'm getting myself into. But this movie is great. Uh, runtime was a little bit long, because I have trouble 
hold on my bladder during whole movies. That's why I don't see too many flicks in the theaters these days. Um, it's just because I'm, I fear missing out of crucial parts in movies. Uh, and I, I guess I guess if I had to give this movie a ranking, I don't really like to rank movies, but I would give this movie uh, about a I'd say and I'd say ninety percent. It's very good. Uh, I went with low expectations or no expectations really since I hadn't seen the first two. I just I heard they were first one I think is a bit of a cult classic and the second one I know gained some traction, but that third one obviously was very exciting. I heard there was a Super Bowl commercial. I didn't tune in this year. Um, but I, I know that was pretty big to have a commercial running during that particular sporting event. Uh, so yeah, uh, go check out John Wick 3 if you like action. Uh, it's plot lines not super thick, not a lot of plot, which is okay for this type of movie, I suppose. But going forward, uh, hopefully in the next one is a little bit more plot for those of us who enjoy the narrative aspect of films. Um, yeah, very good cinematography, I've heard. And go check it out, unless you skip the knife scene. Remember to skip the knife scene. Alright, see you tomorrow.